first of all, congratulations on the film. I thought it was wonderful. Thanks for Are you pleased you. with the reaction you've been getting? Thrilled. Yeah, it's wonderful. <laughs> <laughs> yes. I mean, God, that's, that's the reaction you want for anything. So, yeah. And how did it come about, the documentary? How did you... Well, we've known each other for a long time. Uh, we worked together on a series of posters for the Alternative Miss Ireland going back nearly 20 years. And it came up in a conversation I had with my producer, Katie Holly, and we thought we would approach Rory about doing a documentary, and we did. And he actually said yes. So. <laughs> and at what moment, or was there a moment when you realised that it was nearly bigger than Panty's story, it was something much larger that you'd captured? I think as soon as... Uh, the whole Pantygate thing started, we realised this was going up a couple of gears. And then when the marriage equality thing came in on the back of that, it went, it got even bigger and wider again and became really a worldwide event, which is absolutely thrilling for us making a film about it. And Rory, did, did you, when you started out as Panty, did you ever think she would become the icon that she has? No. <laughs> um, I was attracted to Dragon in the first place because it's, underground and transgressive and discombobulating and all those things that I like about it. So it's actually a weird thing that whatever, 25 or whatever number of years later, that, you know, that she's become this sort of almost establishment figure. It's a very odd and unexpected turn of events. And, um, you know, sometimes now people sort of treat her like a president or something and I'm just thinking this is weird <laughs> and there's some really kind of deeply personal moments in the documentary did you ever think at the beginning that would hold up such a mirror to you not only you but Panty as well no because the whole way through the thing I'm not really thinking about it I am I was always it's Connor's project that's his thing and I never really thought about what it would be or how it would come out and so you know and of course, some of those things, you know, are filmed two years ago, three years ago, whatever, four years ago, whatever. So then when you suddenly see them thrown back at you three years later, I'm like, oh my God, okay. You know, so, no, I, I never had any uh, visions of it or any ideas about it or y even a very little impression about it. Connor was just doing his thing. Were you surprised when you saw the, the end result? Yes. Um, well, also because they had so much footage that I think they could have made a million stories, or they could have focused in so many different ways. So to see what they actually did with all that footage um, was just a sort of a surprise or a revelation or whatever. Like I'm always saying to him that the first thing that I noticed about all the stuff that's not in it, mm -hmm. you know, all the things we did and places we went and stuff that's not in it, but because they weren't serving the story that he was telling in the end. Um, so yeah, yes, it was. And Connor, do you have a favorite moment that you captured? on film, or favourite day that you shot? Um, it's hard to decide between the results of the referendum day, which was just, you know, this amazing kind of uh, euphoric <laughs> running around town after Panty with a camera crew, and the, the, the show in Ballon Robe, which was kind of basically, it felt like we were the circus coming to town, and the entire, village, entire town uh, came to see the Panty show. I think. It's hard to say one particular moment, but if you're putting me on the spot, which you are, I would say, Panty walking down the street, walking down Abbey Street in Ballon Robe in the rain with Mammy and Daddy in a dress on the way to do the show. It's just, it's a great moment. It is, it's a magical moment. It's one of my favorite moments from it as well. Um, the, Rory, you've toured on stage as Panty. Do you ever envisage her doing TV, movie? Would you send Panty in that direction? Um, well, Panty's not an actress. She only plays one role herself. Um, so no, I don't have any um, ambitions to be a, a, an actor of any kind, really. Um, TV stuff, sure, I mean, we do that all the time. That's part of the gig, really. And um, yeah, but no, I ain't trying to be Meryl Streep here. <laughs> um, the film is not only an Irish story, but a universal one. What are the plans for the film now internationally? Uh, we're working on, on uh, international distribution, so uh, that's all kind of happening behind the scenes at the moment. The big thing we're concentrating on at the moment is that tomorrow night we're going to be showing it to the hometown crowd for the first time, so we're really looking forward to that. And what's next for them, for both of you? Um, well, for me, I'm just continuing on doing my thing, so um, I have a very busy year coming up. A lot of touring and a few other projects on the go. Um, but it's all good. It's, I always prefer to be busy than not busy, and especially in 
our line of work, you're always <laughs> thrilled to be busy, yeah. And do you look from kind of one show to the next as such? Is that how far ahead you plan for Panty? Um, I used to do a thing where I try and write a new show once every year or 18 months. But actually, the show that I'm currently touring, we keep on thinking, oh, we'll put that to bed now, but then more comes along. So it looks like it's going to be going for about two and a half years. But I will be trying to write some new stuff in on the way now, yeah. I'm, I'm nice feeling bad about it. I'm working with a screenwriter, Pierce Ryan, on a romantic comedy. Oh, very good. Well, we look forward to that. Thank you so much. Thank you. It's been a pleasure. Thank you. What an amazing day. Perfect day for a for a yes. For a social revolution. <laughs> Whoa! Yay! Thank God I look fucking amazing. <laughs> <laughs> I think the future for like young LGBT people is incredible now in this country. That we're growing up in a country which absolutely on every level treats its LGBT citizens exactly the same as everybody else. They'll be growing up on a level playing field and they've never had that before. We've never had that before. And this is actually has not been a three month or four month campaign. It's been a 40 year campaign and is the absolute epitome of a grassroots campaign. It started 30, 40 years ago when a tiny number of really brave men and women stood up and said they had nothing to be ashamed of. Two years later, the country agreed. We've nothing to be ashamed of. We're the same as everybody else.